hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is katarina if you're new here welcome i post christian content lifestyle vlogs health updates health and fitness all the good things so if you're interested please subscribe and give this video a like okay so today is going to be a fitness and health update i have a few things to update you guys on okay i know it's been a while honestly since i've done one of these videos my fitness and health journey has not stopped since then i just have forgotten to film about it um so a few things have changed so i actually stopped going to the gym i no longer have a gym membership i actually canceled my gym membership and now i'm doing something more I guess you could say casual and I don't know what you could call it, more relaxed in a way. Um, I kind of got tired of the gym. I love the gym and i not saying that I won't go back, but um, I don't know, I just got tired of it and it wasn't like fun for me anymore in a way. I don't know how to explain it. it just for the season right now in my life, this is just where I'm at. So I decided to cancel my gym membership. So I've canceled it. And currently for in terms of fitness and what I'm doing to work out, I am walking every single day for 40 minutes. And I'm, I usually break that up. Um, I'll do a 20 minute and then I'll do another 20 minute. So I'm doing that for cardio. Um, and then for an actual workout, I am doing a 20 minute workout four times a week. So that's kind of how the workouts are looking right now um i'm also doing 100 crunches a day <laughs> i know it's kind of like weird and all over the place but um the 40 minutes of walking that's every single day regardless like seven days a week i'm doing that sometimes on the weekend like saturday or sunday i might miss it's not on purpose just because i am busy during the weekends like everybody else um so i might just miss a day but usually it's planned 40 minutes a day of walking and typically i break that up into 220s and then four times a week i will do an actual workout and then i'll do the 100 abs um a day as well which is it doesn't well abs meaning crunches it doesn't take long to do the 100 abs it's literally like three minutes maybe um the first i usually like to do 50 in a row and then after that i'm like whoo and then I'll do like a 20, 25, and then another 25, and then we're done. Um, but anyways, that's, a hot, that's how that has been going. So um, so yeah, that's the workouts. In terms of the 20 minute workouts that I do four times a week, I am doing either Pilates or strength training. So typically I alternate. So um, for the Pilates, I'll do a 20 minute workout for Pilates. I have this app, I believe it's called uh, Melissa Wood Health. It's, I believe that's her name. Yeah, she does like Pilates and different types of classes online. She has an app that you pay for a subscription and she does different classes. She does dancing, she does Pilates, she does other stuff. Um, so I've been doing her Pilates classes and I pay for the subscription. And then if I don't do one of those, then I'll do strength training. And then I, ju I just have weights at home that I just do a couple of sets of arms, a couple of sets of legs, and it's pretty much been it for 20 minutes. And it's been a decent workout. Like I'm pretty sore afterwards the next couple of days and I'm sweating while I'm doing it. And I've done workouts, like even when I went to the gym, like I would use some of the machines sometimes, but usually I would just do free rates and do my own thing. So I'm used to that and I've done that for years. So I know the workouts here and there that I can do. Um, so that's what I've been doing in terms of fitness. Um, I just wanted a different approach, a different perspective, different take on fitness. Um, something more like that's something more, something that caters more to my lifestyle right now. Um, I am really busy and going to the gym was just, it was kind of becoming a burden because I'd have to like wake up a little bit early and then like get ready and then go and then come back and get ready. Like it was just too much for me right now. And one day I want to go, I want to be able to have time where I can get ready for the gym and go and take my time there and not have to rush and then come back and you know, do a bunch of million things. So it's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm not saying I won't ever go to the gym, but that's just where I'm at right now. So walking has been so beneficial for me. I have just been praying to God, talking with God, um i have been talking to people talking to my friends or my family members listening to music listening to podcasts and just getting outside and enjoying god's creation it's been really nice so that's what i've been doing i think i mentioned it in a couple maybe a video before and also the podcast and also on the shorts my youtube shorts i have been posting i don't know if you guys have been seeing but i've been doing daily reminder <laughs> 
I mean, the other reminder to go for a walk and then like showing you my scenery and stuff. So that's been really fun. And that's also something I paired with the walking so that it motivates me and it's for accountability as well. Um, so typically I should be posting one every single day. It doesn't happen every day, but usually I do do the walking every single day. Like I don't think I've missed, besides on the weekend, I don't think I've missed a day of walking. Like a weekday and like I've been pretty on it for the past probably month now. Um, so it's been really good and I've seen the difference in my body and in my health and my stamina. Like I can walk pretty fast. Like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can. And I have had friends tell me this too. So just saying. Um, you know who you, who you are if you're watching. You know who you are. But anyways. Uh, so it's been really nice. And then with the workouts it's really been, been good to push myself. I've never really done Pilates before. Um, except for on this app. I have never gone to a place and done Pilates. I've only done it with this app and her workouts that she does. So it's been really cool. It's really been cool to like move my body in different ways that I've never been able to move it or like thought to move it. Um, so that's been really nice and it's intense. Like you think Pilates is like, oh, something chill. Like, no, it's pretty intense. Like you're gonna be, your body, your like muscles are gonna be burning while you're doing it. Like I was like, what in the world? Um, she makes it look so easy, but it's not as easy as it looks. But I am looking forward to getting better at the moves and being able to hold more longer and, you know, just be able to be more um, more flexible and all the things. So it's been really cool to do that. And then strength training is, like, always fun. I love doing stuff with weights. That's something I always liked about going to the gym is that they had weights and I can do different things with them. So, I, so I'm glad that I'm, like, also incorporating that in my workouts the four times a week that I do. That's just more realistic for my lifestyle right now. Keeping it to four is more realistic in terms of like actually doing a workout um so yeah so that's what i've been doing um and then of course 100 abs um with that i did get a really cool yoga mat from amazon um i don't do yoga but i use the mat and the mat for um doing my abs and different workouts on the floor with pilates and stuff like that um it's really thick which i really like because other yoga mats are super thin and like i can feel the floor on my lower back and it hurts so bad and i just can't do the workout because it just hurts so this mat has been amazing so far and it's really long and really thick and good quality um, so I really like it. So I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. Um, Katarina, when you're editing, please remember to put this in so that you can put the link for them. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's been with the workouts. Now, I do want to do a disclaimer. For the app that I do the Pilates on, uh, Melissa Wood Health, I believe it's called MWH. It's like, it's a really pretty aesthetic app. You can find it on App Store or wherever you get your apps. Um, I do want to like just do a disclaimer that she does kind of do some new agey things at the end in terms of like kind of like a meditation kind of thing so i just want to make you mindful i usually skip the ending it's not long it's probably like 20 seconds it's kind of like to close out her workout and what she's you know taught you to do but um she does like say you know a lot of like energy things and stuff like that so if you're sensitive to that like don't I wouldn't recommend her. I'm sure there's other things online that you can look for. Um, but the workouts are great. I really love the workouts. And that's the only thing that I don't care for at the end. But I usually just skip it because it's the end anyway. So the workout is done. She's just kind of be like, now refocus and blah, 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 blah. So I just kind of skip it because I'm not a fan of that. Um, and not that, like, I don't, honestly, with the whole, whole new age thing, I don't know that people necessarily know what they're tapping into, but that's a whole other thing. So, but I am really grateful for her and her doing things. And she, her body is like amazing. Like this girl, like, yeah, she was, yeah. So look her up in general and she does different workouts and stuff. But just want to make you aware of that. So that has been my fitness journey so far. I've been doing this for the past couple of months. I'm pretty, pretty sure at the beginning of the year I've been doing like this whole transition from the gym to doing these things. So it's been really nice and I'm really, um, I'm really content with it. Um, and it's just for seasons. I've grown in my life to learn that not everything is going to stay the same forever in every area of my life. Sometimes I'm going to go to the gym. Sometimes I'm just going to walk. Sometimes I'm not going to go to the gym at all. Or things are just going to look different and that's okay. You have to adapt to how your lifestyle is in life and all the things. So this is just where I'm at and I'm really content and really happy about it. I'm just glad to be moving my body and taking care of it. And yeah, so that's fitness. In terms of health, health has been kind of the same in a way. Um, I have been more aware of what I'm eating and just being more mindful about things and just being just being real with myself like okay this cookie in front of me like is it worth it like is this cookie worth it and I haven't necessarily been dieting but I have just been eating healthier um, I meal prep my lunches as normal though sometimes there there will be a week or a couple days where I don't have lunch because on the weekend I didn't meal prep and now I don't have lunch whatever whatever 
um, but for the most part I do bring my lunch and I meal prep so that's a key for when in terms of like me going to work and even for dinner too and I've just been like I've been doing a lot of smoothies um either homemade smoothies or I've been going to Smoothie King and Tropical Smoothie Cafe like nobody's business <laughs> I don't know where I got this kick from like it started like a couple weeks ago and now I'm just like obsessed so anyways I've been to I've been into smoothies a lot and I've actually gotten the ingredients to make like a really nice um is it Smoothie King? Yes, yeah, Smoothie King. Uh, is it Smoothie King? No, Tropical Smoothie. Um, smoothie that they have. It's like Detox Island Green or something. And I basically like got the ingredients to make it myself. So that's been better because obviously it can get pricey getting smoothies out. Um, but yeah, I've been really into smoothies lately and just been really trying to be mindful about what I eat and not go out to eat and not go to fast food and Starbucks and all the things. Um, I know I was fasting in January, um, so I think that helped transition me into eating more healthy and not doing fast food and if i do fa do fast food um, i'm trying to just limit to get very high protein stuff things that are actually going to be beneficial for me and not just like guilty pleasures or whatever you want to call it um so yeah trying to do high protein trying to do healthier foods and just be more mindful and then i've also started a thing where i'm not going to be drinking coffee throughout the week i can only drink it on the weekends just because coffee for me is like a treat um and coffee when i get my coffee like it's creamed up and it has sugar and i want to taste it so um that's the way that i drink my coffee so it's more of a treat for me it does give me caffeine it does wake me up but um it's not necessarily healthy for me so during the week if i need some i need a boost i'll drink a celsius or i get like a smoothie with like an energizer in it or something like that um but in terms of energy that's what i've been doing and i've honestly seen a difference like i've been more I don't know like more light in a way so and, and i know that caffeine isn't the best for you either so just trying to not do as much but still be realistic and still treat myself every now and then so that's where i'm at with the health i think i've covered everything i think um and honestly i've just been really asking the holy spirit to help me have more discipline and treat my body well and treat myself treat myself well and um also i have been i tried this one thing and I basically like asked God to help me like lose weight in certain areas and like speak life over my body and this is not to be like a new agey way or anything like that but I was just saying like <laughs> like I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like pointing at each like body part that I wanted to lose weight in and I was like this fat must go in Jesus name on my arm like in Jesus name like I was doing it and I was like wow this feels so good but I believe in speaking things not in a new agey way but speaking things in the name of Jesus because there's power in what you say there's life and death in your tongue and I believe in speaking life and just having authority over things even that might seem really silly to you but I believe in the name of Jesus so anything can happen so I am praying that with myself like nobody's business so I'm gonna keep doing that uh, but I did it the other day I was like it's kind of weird but this is kind of like at the same time so anyways gonna start implementing that as well and then just realizing that you know god can help me with anything no matter what it is and just really trusting in him and being patient with myself and being consistent like i'm just so proud of myself for being consistent um and knowing that things are going to take time and that's okay as long as i'm keeping up and being consistent then i'm okay with that so anyways just want to give y'all this update um that's where i'm at with my health and fitness journey i would be doing up more updates actually just i don't know if i mentioned but i got a scale um oh no i didn't i bought a scale it's coming in tomorrow so i bought a scale on amazon i actually got one for my uncle and i bought the same one for myself um but it basically you know tells you all the things that's in your body and all the things and i need a scale i don't have one so in order to like gauge you know where i'm at and just to Every week, like, I'll just weigh myself. I don't love to weigh myself, but I need to be realistic and see where I'm at. So, about that, that's coming in. So, I'll keep you guys updated on that and how that app is. And I'm interested to see all the things. Like, I think it tells you your, like, bone density and a bunch of different things, like, on the app. Like, the app connects to the scale. So, it's pretty cool from what I've seen. And my uncle said he likes it, so that was cool. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that. And I think that's about it. This is the update so far. Um, I'm excited to keep going to, and to keep you guys updated and I'm going to be doing a lot more shorts on health and fitness um, So be sure to check those out because I am really interested in health and fitness and it's always been like a desire of mine to learn more about health health and fitness and become more healthy and more fit and Yeah, I'm excited to just dive more 
deeper into that so hope you have enjoyed this video hope it encourages you i just wanted to tell you like please just start like start wherever you're at you don't have to be up here like i promise you you don't because the people that got up there and that look amazing and that are super strong and healthy and fit and have healthy mindsets they didn't they weren't always like that everyone always starts somewhere so just start where you're at do what you can and you'll start to see like wow maybe I can only walk for 10 minutes today, but maybe in a month you can walk for 15, like a day. Like, let's just start where you're at, be realistic, and don't get down on yourself that you can't run a mile because, like, that's really hard, like, if you don't normally run a mile. You know what I'm saying? You have to build up. You have to build up stamina, build up strength, and all the things. So, I just want to encourage you, start where you're at. It's okay if you skip a week or even a month start over and there's no condemnation as long as you're keeping up and being consistent as much as you can and taking care of your body taking care of the body that god gave you because he only gave you one body um and it's your responsibility to take care of that because he gave it to you um so anyways hope this encourages you hope this blesses you hope you're interested in this content i know i am and i'm, I'm grateful to have a platform to share it with and i'm grateful for you to um i'm grateful for you sub, uh, supporting me and just tuning in and encouraging me along the way as well so yeah that is it for today's video thank y'all so much for watching thank you for subscribing and liking and all the fun things and supporting me i really do appreciate it and um i hope you are doing well i know it's been a little bit but i am back and better and excited god bless you guys don't forget to be the best person that you can be and to love on people remember jesus loves you and i'll see you guys all soon bye